Back here in Connecticut, a controversial new transit system is set to get rolling next year. The CT Fast Track bus system designed to reduce traffic on I-84, but it comes with a pretty hefty price tag. News H. Brian Spiros has more on the pros and cons. In roughly 10 months' time, the CT Fast Track busway will be up and running. CT Fast Track will be the first rapid transit system in central Connecticut, and this will provide uh, a lot more travel options for people. The Fast Track will operate between New Britain and Hartford, making stops at 10 different stations along the way. A series of meetings have been taking place to update people on construction, which broke ground in 2012. Anyone is welcome to attend. At our open house meetings, we're uh, presenting the status of the project, really. So there's a construction update. We have construction photos. And while this project is expected to be convenient for many people, it's also receiving a great deal of criticism because of the hefty price tag. That price tag, around $576 million. It's a lot of money, sure. You know, to go, what, what's it, eight miles? You know, but yeah, that's a lot of money. It is way too much. We could have used that money in a lot of other places, like a lot of highway maintenance. The DOT says the goal of the project is to reduce congestion on I-84, reduce travel time, and connect commuters to different parts of the state. What this really gives us, though, is the ability to take enough people off of 84 that you can put more people and goods on 84. So you really improve the capacity of the whole mobility system. The next and final public meeting on CT Fast Track will be on May 6th at the Hartford Public Library starting at 5.30 p.m. Reporting from West Hartford, Brian Spiros, News 8.